Sie hören eine Produktion des Podcast Imperiums. Ich bin Luke Skywalker und ihr hört Nerdizismus, der nerdige Podcast. Viel Spaß! Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Ausgabe von Nerdizismus, dem Podcast für Nerds und Cosplayer. Mein Name ist Chris und mit mir dabei Nerdizist Michael. Hallo. Hallihallo. Die heutige Folge ist ein Auftakt zu einer ganzen Reihe von Interviewfolgen, die in den nächsten Wochen für euch veröffentlicht werden. Wir haben nämlich die offizielle Streamingbox der German Comic Con in Dortmund betrieben. Und das heißt, man hat uns wie in einem billigen Puff die Stars regelmäßig <lacht> zugeführt. Ja, stündlich kamen die. Es waren am Ende 18 Schauspieler aus Serien wie Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, aber auch Filmen wie E.T., Titanic und so weiter und auch über Sänger und ganz exotische Stars aus China war wirklich alles dabei. Und heute ist der Auftakt mit jemand, der eigentlich bei den Nerdizisten normalerweise so gar nicht zu finden wäre, wenn er halt nicht auf dieser Con zufällig in unsere Box gefallen wäre. Und ich hätte auch nie gedacht, dass ich mal ein Mitglied der Backstreet Boys interviewen werde, beziehungsweise sehen und die Hand schütteln werde. Interview hast du den ja. Ja, yeah. wir haben Nick Carter getroffen. Und erst hat mich das auch gewundert, was macht der auf einer Comic-Con? Also äh, klar, vielleicht sind ein paar Fans da, aber es sind ja keine Musik-Con, es ist eine Comic-Con. Aber der hat vor ein paar Jahren mal, ich glaube mit The Asylum, so einen, so einen Horrorfilm produziert und auch gedreht und geschrieben. Und deshalb ist er jetzt auch, hat er Bock darauf, Comic-Cons zu machen und war dann in Deutschland dabei. Und du und das Forever Nerd Girl Anja, ihr habt den interviewt. Und äh, wie war's? Wie war das mal, einen Teenie-Star, einen Boyband-Star live zu treffen? Mein Eindruck, der Händedruck hätte ein bisschen fester sein können. <lacht> ähm, der Kerl war super sympathisch. Also hätte ich jetzt, ja. Natürlich haben die irgendeine Ausstrahlung, so Boyband-Mitglieder, aber Nick Carter hat sich erstens selber als ziemlicher Nerd bezeichnet, das war auch, und man konnte sich wirklich gut mit ihm unterhalten. Und ja, ich bin jetzt auch nicht der riesen Backstreet Boys Fan, das war jetzt halt in meiner, im Gymnasium, als ich im Gymnasium war, sind die gerade bekannt geworden. Meine Schwester hatte Poster von denen in, ähm, im Zimmer hängen. Und das war es jetzt auch. Und ich hätte auch nicht gedacht, dass ich mich mal mit irgendeinem von denen unterhalte. Aber es war unterhaltsam, in der Tat. Und das Besondere hier dran, vielleicht noch nicht mal im Interview, aber das hätte ich auch nicht gedacht, den ganzen Tag war der ja in seiner Fotoboost drin, wo der mit Leuten hier Fotos gemacht hat und äh, ganze Autogramme vergeben hat und sowas. Die Schlange bei dem war den ganzen Tag irgendwie gefühlt über 100 Meter lang. Ja, der zieht halt immer noch, ja, auch wie, ja. Wie, mit, wie bei Harry Potter, die Fans wachsen mit. Gut, dann würde ich sagen, hören wir doch mal rein in dieses Interview. Hi, we are with our first guest here, Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys. Hi. <lacht> Hallo. How are you? I'm very good, very good. Enjoying alles the klar, German morning? Ja. Um, German coffee, yes. Yes, uh, <lacht> yeah. Nick just, uh, yeah, he announced that he can speak a little German. So. Yeah, a bit, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. From, so, from when? From when we were coming here when I was 15 years old. Okay, wow. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it was the only way that I could talk to my girlfriends who were German at the time. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, so we can have a real conversation in German uh, right now. Nein, nein. <laughs> so, are you enjoying Comic-Con today? Uh, I love Comic-Cons. Um, these are some of the most uh, fun that I have when I'm coming to them. You know, get a chance to meet actors who, you know, yeah. from movies and, and TV shows that I've watched. Uh, um, hang out with incredible fans that, uh, that, have show that are showing up and showing their love. Uh, It's it's really it's a lot of fun. It's it's a it's a little bit of a break outside of what yeah. I do. Yeah. Uh, you know, from shows and you know, we were just here recently, you know, this last fall in, in okay. Germany. Um, yeah. you know, on, on tour, not not here in yeah. Dortmund, but yeah. you know, uh, so but it's it's cool. It's a it's a, a nice little experience outside yeah. of what nice. I do. You had a long Las Vegas gig the last yeah. years, right? Yeah, we did um, last year, well for the past two years prior to this year. 
uh, we were out in Las Vegas and we had a residency and and that was that was really amazing such a great opportunity and, and uh, for us um, you know to kind of like reintroduce ourselves as a band and and to you know kind of reestablish our career after so many years and and uh, it actually made it to where I moved there oh. so now I live in Las Vegas wow. uh, <laughs> Which is pretty crazy, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I love it, and, and it's it's a lot of fun, and you know, Las Vegas is one of those places that, you know, it's the best shows in the world. Yeah. Um, you know, from the Cirque du Soleil yeah. and all the different um, shows that are on the strip. So. Yeah, it's a really big thing to have a show in Las Vegas, right? It, it is, yeah. and you know, like Celine Dion or Britney Spears, they have all this totally, incredible yeah. shows. Yeah, totally, and and um, but now we're on a world tour, and we're you know we just did Europe uh, earlier in the year and uh, just went over to you know Japan and Southeast Asia and actually did America too um, around 50 something shows and um, so this next year we have some more shows that we're going to be putting on possibly come back to, yeah. to Germany but down in, um, in China Australia yeah. uh, South, um, South America Mexico That'll happen in February and March, and uh, so this whole next year, next year we'll be touring, um, and then wow. maybe take a little bit of a break, and then who knows, maybe come back to Las Vegas again. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here on German Comic Con, and there are a lot of nerds around here. Yeah, and we. That's uh, me. I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's one of our first questions for you. Uh, on a scale from one to ten, how much of a nerd are you? Um, I don't know if it's it's easy enough how I you can explain being a nerd if it, you're just kind of like uh, you know what are the things that you like I mean yeah. I, I give you an example so when we were recording our Millennium album in, with the Backstreet Boys uh, which was like 98 or something like that we we had these like computers that were set up uh, where we were playing video games at the same time as recording I Want It That Way and, and I'll Be The One and Logs okay. Your Life. So yeah. when we weren't singing our parts, you know, we would go in and play first-person shooters and Half-Life and, you know, I mean, if you're talking video games, if you're yeah. talking, you know, movies, you know, my, my favorite movies, like all the actors that are here and, and the shows, Walking Dead is one of them yeah. that I love, obviously, you know, love it. And, yeah. you know, you got to know about all those things. Got to the point where, where you know, I, I wanted to make my own sort of, I actually, such a nerd that I did a comic, you know, with uh, yeah. Stan Lee and yeah. the Action Boys a long time ago. And um, I actually just uh, donated that, that um, I had uh, a signed copy of, of the Backstreet Boys comic. I have about six of them signed by Stan Lee, the late Stan Lee, who we wow. got the opportunity to do it with, and the Backstreet Boys all signed it. So I donated, donated that one. I did an auction just recently, um, and able to donate that to mental health as well. So um, really I'm such cool. a I'm such a nerd. I wrote comics, you know, with yeah. Stan Lee. So stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> so I guess you could say you on a ten. Uh, and, and, then, and then okay, so ten maybe. <laughs> and I'm a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> That's a nerd, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. No, I am. Yeah. And so, um, congratulations to your newborn. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think it's two months back or something like yes. that. Yes. Yes. So still enjoying being a, a third time father, right? Second time. Second time. <coughs> right. Second time and only. <laughs> yeah, like and that's it. it it's <laughs> a girl. Yes, she's a girl. Yeah. yeah very nice. Very happy. Um, her name is Sirsha. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's an Irish name, um, and we. It was very special because we call her a, a rainbow baby. Um, okay. Which basically means you know uh, she came back because we had lost a baby prior to that. Okay. And that, but we feel like she came back again, so we were yeah. very happy about that. So yeah, um, very blessed and thankful for that. I mean, I can relate uh, to that myself because I've been a father for a year now, and it's yeah. uh, it's a great feeling. It's exhausting. <laughs> it's very exhausting, especially when you're like trying to be a bachelor boy and touring at the same time, yeah. and, and and working, and then having to come home and fulfill you know fatherly duties and, and all these things so. I'm, I mean I have a nine to five job and it's still exhausting for me I can't imagine with all your projects that uh, it, yeah it, it is but I'll tell you this you know it, it's a, a it's not even a job you could say it's a job um, it's passion. but it's it's passion yeah I'm definitely passionate about it passionate about the education for the children you know passionate about them getting an opportunity to have a great start 
you know, feeding them, cooking them breakfast, it's yeah. just the most simple things, you know, yeah. tucking them in bed and reading them books and, you know, all these different things that I think are, are very important. And the first smile. The first smile, the first walk, you know, all, the all these things, yeah. you know, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so, I mean, that makes it easy and, and, and easy to get out of bed yeah. and, and love your life as far as that goes. Yeah, so we've uh, we've brought something for you if you want. If you want uh, some German candy or some German schnapps. <laughs> I'm okay on the schnapps right now. <laughs> but Do you know it? See, you, there, you see these right here? <laughs> this is these were go. thrown up. Uh, I don't know, that one, the red one. Oh, there's a the red now. Yeah. These were <laughs> thrown up on stage. Um, quite frequently okay. uh, really? when we first came to Germany. Oh, yeah, because we are, we are very proud of our Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, Howie ate so much of these because he loved gummy bears, and he got like a, a lifetime supply from Germany, you yeah. know, now yeah. he's sick of them, he can't do them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can happen. <laughs> yeah, but they're very good. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And they're German? Yeah. I, I, knew, yeah. That. I knew that. Yeah, in my, in my uh, hometown, they um, producing these. And sometimes when you uh, walk by the, the uh, company, then you can smell it. Oh, you can? Yeah, the whole air smells like the candy. It smells like yeah. gummy bears. Yeah. I would love to live there. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're a singer? <laughs> ah, okay, we have some questions. Yeah, we have a, I mean, yeah, it's interactive, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are uh, live. So, we have a Nicardo fan one. Uh, if you're going to start a new movie project. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely have aspirations to do more movies. Um, it's one of the reasons why I'm here. I mean, I, someone can say, okay, why are you at a Comic-Con? Well, I actually made a movie. It was called Dead Seven, and it was um, sort of a, I'd say like Walking Dead meets like, you know, Western kind of vibe. Uh, and I did that with a lot of my friends, you know, a lot of the NSYNC guys, O-Town guys, a lot of different people from that era. And that was a lot of fun. So, and that was my first sort of experience from just writing a movie and then directing, co-directing it and then acting in it. Um, it was a lot of work. Full time outside. duty yeah. the first time. It, yeah, it was everything, you know. Yeah. And, and I have other ideas and things that I would like to, um, concepts and things that I'd like to have come to life. Right now, I think it's very important that you know we're finishing out the the last Backstreet Boy album, the cycle, the touring, and kind of getting that finished. Um, but I do definitely have aspirations to do another one. I have an, I have a couple really good ideas that I want to do, but I'm just kind of getting through. I have a newborn baby, so it's like, you know you have to focus on what are your priorities. Like for me, you know, uh, my children are extremely important, and I want to make sure that I'm there for them at the most crucial time. So, but, you know, at the same time, when they're sleeping or they're in school, I can just start writing down again. I love writing, I love, I love creating, so I definitely have aspirations to do another movie. Yeah. And I think it's nice uh, that you want to write it or direct it and act, act in it, so yeah. you can see all the different parts of making a movie and think that's very interesting for, for yourself, right? Yeah. To yeah. see how the movie is built up Oh, well, that's that's the um, that's the beauty of, of creation. Yeah. Um, whether it's from music or if it's doing a movie or you know, it starts from nothing, and then yeah. and then you have to turn it into something. And then the steps to get to from A to Z are is a lot. And then yeah, there's a lot of ups lot. and downs. Yeah. It's and, like and a journey. <laughs> it's a journey, and it's never perfect. And I think that's what art's all about: is being you know the imperfection, which becomes perfection. So we have one more thing. Sure. It should be easy for you because you're a singer. <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna do. No, I wonder. Do, do, uh, do you know any Christmas carols? <clears throat> I um, well, I know some of our own songs. Yeah. Are do you, you uh, do you know the Oh Christmas Tree Oh Christmas Tree? Yeah. Oh Tannenbaum. Yes. yes. <laughs> I actually have the uh, German lyrics here. Yeah. If oh, you would uh, try oh, the, the first. Die Brunnen yeah. sind Deine Blätter? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Just, uh, Is that how you said it? Deine Blätter. Blätter. Yes. Wie grün sind deine Blätter? Wie grün, grün sind deine Blätter. Yeah. yeah. So, O oh, Tannenbahn, O oh, Tannenbahn, wie grün sind deine Blätter. Yeah! Perfect! 
I think I used to sing that like when I was little. Yeah. yeah there, right, there was like a, a, a musical, like a little play that I had done, and we sang it in German. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. So congrats to your German. Yeah. I want to learn more. <laughs> I definitely want to learn. You know, here's the thing. I, I don't know if this is like a feed that goes just in Germany or not. Um, uh, I look to spend a lot more time here. Okay. You know, in Germany, um, there's some really cool things that are going to happen. Um, there's a, a really cool announcement uh, that's happening towards the end of the day. Uh, I'm just going to put that out there okay. that, that pertains to to me. Okay. And then also being in Germany. Um, yeah, just pay attention to, to my social media. There's something really really cool. At uh, what time? I'm going to say uh, to, uh, towards the end of the day. Okay. You'll you'll see. Yeah. Uh, and it's um it's an announcement of something. And it's going to require me to possibly stay, no, to actually stay in Germany a little bit longer than I, than I anticipated. Okay. So I was only going to be here for the Comic-Con uh, for the two days, but something's happening right now. Great. All exciting right. news. Yeah. So thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Thank you so much. And have a nice Comic-Con. Thank you. You too. <laughs>